We're going to move on on this Monday night to the other news and to the searing new report tonight on the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. The horrific moments of confusion, the lack of communication, all shown now in the officer body cam video. Officers hearing shots, then running into the school and capturing the moment the gunman fires on the officers in the hallway. The excruciating report on those 77 minutes concluding officers failed to prioritize saving innocent lives over their own. And tonight here, you'll see the moment one officer can be heard saying, we need to get in there. He just keeps firing. ABC's Maria Villarreal in Uvalde again tonight. Tonight, the blistering new report and the body camera images that back it up. That report revealing systemic failures in law enforcement's response. Nearly 400 officers were on site the day 19 children and two teachers were murdered by an 18-year-old gunman. 11.33 a.m., the shooter, who attended fourth grade at Robb Elementary, walks inside, focusing on his old classroom, room 111, easily opening the door because the lock had been broken for months. During the first two and a half minutes, he fires over 100 rounds before any first responder even enters the building. Oh, Shots fired! Get inside! Go, go, go! 11.35, three officers enter the school, two later pulling back after being grazed by bullets. Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Officer Ruben Ruiz also inside that hallway. His wife, Eva Mireles, a teacher, is in room 112 and texting him. My wife's classroom. Mireles didn't survive. Her husband removed from the scene. At 11.38 a.m., just five minutes after the shooter first walked in, an officer tries to rally other responders. We gotta get in there. He skips me. We gotta get in there. A sergeant then relays information that later turned out to be wrong. He's on inside this building. We have him de contained. He's gonna be on the building on the west side of the property. But the suspect was inside room 111 and 112 and still shooting. The report says alongside local officers, there were 149 Border Patrol agents, 91 DPS troopers, and 27 members of the U.S. Marshals and DHS responding to the scene. Some inside Robb Elementary, others outside the school. Still, the committee points out a command post was never set up, leading to a breakdown in communication between the officers on every level. The report stating they failed to prioritize saving the lives of innocent victims over their own safety. School District Police Chief Pete Arredondo testifying that they prioritized getting children evacuated over approaching the attacker. My thought was, we're a barrier. Get these kids out. We need to get these kids out of here. Right, kids, it's Border Patrol. Come on out. Hurry up. Come on out. Cover them. Cover them. Watch. Go, go. Run, run over there. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Hurry, 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 guys, hurry. Come on, sir. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Push, push. Inside, Chief Arredondo attempts to talk to the gunman. Let me know if there's any kids in there or anything. This could be peaceful. Arredondo acknowledging their delay nearly an hour into the attack. 77 minutes after making his way inside, Border Patrol agents breached the classroom, killing the gunman at 12.52 p.m. The report admitting it is plausible that some victims could have survived if they had not had to wait. Committee members also pointing out Wi-Fi issues and unlocked or broken doors contributed to the breakdown in safety measures at the school. Just weeks after being shot, teacher Arnolfo Reyes describing that exact problem. The one that has the locking problems was my, was my door, my, pers my uh, classroom door. Tonight, victims' families frustrated by the botched response, calling for charges to be filed against some of the officers. Rogelio Torres' mother still fighting for accountability. That's what I'm here for, to fight for my son, fight for the other kids, and fight for the teachers that lost their lives that day. It is a packed house here at the latest school board meeting where they're supposed to address a lot of safety issues that came out in that report. But, David, just to get in the door, the public actually has to go through some serious security, including metal detectors. And if they want to speak, they have to follow a lot of rules. And the board is not expected to answer any questions tonight. David? Yeah, a lot of understandable anger and frustration coming up at that meeting tonight. And I know you'll be there, Maria. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.